स्थापकाय च धर्मस्य सर्वधर्मस्वरूपिणे अवतार वरिष्ठाय रामकृष्णाय ते नम यस्टर्डे इन अवर क्लास वी वर सी हाउ टू रिजॉल्व एंड डाइव विथ इन and reach the realm of mother kali we saw kali represents both the absolute existence and the relative existence the whole relative is a dynamic the universe is a dynamic existence constantly changing uh, flux constantly changing flux every moment everything is changing time is acting day and nights are passing hmm. when there is a constant change we see uh, the dynamic aspect of the existence we see on the other side the absolute unchanging eternal reality the ocean of bliss peace love absolute in that the universe like a speck appears like a bubble in water it appears and disappears time and again the whole this dynamic existence the universe and the absolute together is the image of the kali we see everywhere the dark kali standing on the white marble shiva shiva represents the absolute the unchanging shavarupa shiva is just lying down as if a corpse is lying down it represents the absolute existence unchanging this is dynamic constantly changing so this whole kali aspect what all exists whatever is existence be it absolute or the relative both together there is that is we are entering into existential aspect that is which the which is reality pervading when i say so the reality pervading this universe and existing as universe now suppose um, one house is made of gold all articles are there of gold uh, people uh, standing moving all the images are there all of made of gold how it will be every object is gold the gold is pervading everything all the so one the content also is gold the form of is gold the moments gold is moving so it is something like that or you can take as ocean a human huge ocean endless ocean of water here and there ice have for water has become ice i ice and this water the one and same the dolls are their various human forms the animals these their trees everything that water has become a whole world and existing water is pervading everything how does it pervade you see in the ice every point except water nothing is there that kind of pervasion the absolute pervades the relative not like water pervading sponge it is like water has become ice water pervading ice in ice except water nothing is there the form it is its hardness form everything is water the hardness in water it is so flex- flexible and movable hmm. the ice is so hard and immovable mass huh? water has be water is there as hardness water is there as in transparency all this you see the uh, whatever you see in whatever now water is pervading everything even movements actions so waves of 
water is moving about uh, the movement also is water everything is water like that the universe is pervaded by the absolute absolute has become this and is pervading it is not the something else other than the absolute is there and uh, wow the absolute is pervading no like space pervading all this space is pervading every object in and through every object space exists but object a thing called object is there apart from the space which is pervading no not like that it is like it has become water has become an eyes the water is pervading the eyes and beyond and around is also water alone so that kind of pervasion and that is the realm of kali when we say it is spiritual existence the whole universe is divine the every bit is divine the movements are divine people are enjoying people are suffering the suffering and enjoyments are the divine just like in your dream dream world whatever you see in dream world one person is suffering suffering is mind mind has become one mind has become various objects and various movements everything is mind alone the water in dream is mind houses are mind people are mind two are fighting you see actually life you see uh, somebody is it eating lying somebody is dead everything is mind except mind nothing is there in the dream world when you wake up you see there only my mind is there again like that the un the absolute has become the universe in which everything is divine when you see reality the absolute reality is is called the realm of kali when you see you identify yourself with body and see this world of duality then it is unreal hmm. just like you enter into dream identify with the dream body and experience this joys and sorrows of the world dream world huh. and when you wake up because you are identifying with your physical body you are seeing a different world other than god and god is not visible because you are identified with body so god can never be again de identification with body awakening from within all this has to take place only through activities because we are bound to activities now sacrifice your life for other sacrifice your life for god then only it is possible because you everything what you are bound yourself with vasanas and karmic load is through action you are bound a real now you have to you say action again to unwind is again action so day and night just like you ran after the world now run after the services run after loving god and serving god so you see again through action we are the former action was binding you now present action releases you from all bondages so entering the mother kali's realm two aspects are there one to release yourself from the world release yourself from bodily existence and move towards the divine hmm. moving towards the divine is possible by relieving releasing yourself from the external bonds the re- releasing from external bonds happen only through love universal love of humanity dedicating our body with which i have identified i have identified only for sake of enjoyment now you are going to identify the same body only for sake of sacrifice no enjoyments sacrifice 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 become so humble but fully intelligent active fully aware of everything full of knowledge secular and spiritual you move there is nothing that you can cannot do in this world there is nothing that you cannot understand of this world there is nothing that you cannot achieve 
to that extent of you have the knowledge you have the activity you have the resolution you have the will power all this you are this is how we enter the realm of the divine realm of the divine to enter i have to dissociate from my bodily identity i have to turn this world into divine vision serve it shiva gnani jiva seva try to see god in everything try to god in everything is not to become idol to become humble servant uh, uh, i am seeing divine in everything uh, nobody needs anything now <laughs> everybody is divine everybody is complete no this is misuse of advaita hmm. wrong understanding undigested advaita hmm. trying to become uh, actionless uh, inaction entering into inaction is it is entering into tamas no i am full of activity just like i ran after the world out of greed and enjoy this world. here also same force i am running after this world to serve and love to sacrifice my life i am going to sacrifice my life for god i am going to say i love god i serve god i do all the worship and things of the shrine and the place of the worship i sweep every day the ashrama i go to the i when i go to gurudwara i see almost all sikh community who comes there want to do some service if not anything you search for some work and do same latrine and bathroom how many people from morning till evening come and clean and go how much of the people they serve with food any time you go anywhere in any gurudwar food is ready for you they take you putting you the hand on your shoulder they see god come come have we are here to serve you you will be waiting in the chapel stand to receive your chapel and keep in place and return to you so this kind of sacrifice sacrificing our life for god seeing god in everyone this is how we enter into the realm of kali hmm dive deep make your way to mother kali's realm down in the ocean depths of heavenly wisdom down in the ocean depths of heavenly wisdom lie the wondrous pearls of peace oh my down in the ocean depths of heavenly wisdom heavenly wisdom heavenly wisdom what a beautiful composition of words you see wisdom wisdom itself is cream of human existence knowledge when it is converted into i have knowledge of this world now you see the internet it it is all the knowledge uh, what is needed what is unneeded what is beneficial what is harmful everything is there knowledge this knowledge i can drown myself in the world of enjoyment suffer intensely get bound everywhere get kicks everywhere at the same time i can evolve to my divine life the divine hood i can simply on either side i can go with the knowledge when knowledge is releasing me from all bonds giving me happiness the lasting happiness lasting peace that knowledge i have converted into wisdom when we say wisdom knowledge and wisdom knowledge is just understanding and information what to give up what to hold on what to utilize in what way it becomes wisdom i have the knowledge of dirty things i have the knowledge of holy things 
dirty things are there, I have to give them up. The giving up, I have the knowledge, I can hold on to that. I can give up because of this. I decide to give them up, holy things I want to hold on to. This becomes wisdom. How to give up? Why to give up? Giving up itself a resolution to give up and hold on itself is wisdom. I am converting this knowledge into wisdom. Now when we come to the wisdom part, huh? heavenly wisdom means what? This is earthly wisdom. Heavenly wisdom. That is what makes me release from the worldly bonds. Worldly bonds is and what makes me happy here, sustained happiness. Huh? lasting peace with him. I am pure, I am free from all guilts. I don't have tension of mind. I don't have any kind of frustration or anything. I don't have depressions. My mind is clear and calm. Look at it. How am I? So this is earthly wisdom had given me this, this status, this state of existence. Now heavenly wisdom, how will I not see anything anymore? I mean, in heaven there won't be this hell at all. Here hell and heaven are together. Satyanrita Andrita Mithuni Kritya Loka Vyavahara Shankaracharya says in Bhagavad Gita Bhashya. Satyanrita Mithuni Kritya Loko Yam Vyavahara. Good and bad things are there. Uh, wisdom here is to take on to hold on to good and transcendent live. This is an entirely different state compared to the other thing. When I say heavenly, there heavenly, there are no good and bad. There is only good. Now when I turn my status in such a way, I am not able to see anything dark at all here. The construction is going on of the uh, Sharda Foundation, Women Wing. I was sitting there looking at the laying concrete and watching. Hmm. I had to stay all through whether they are putting proper proportions, this, that and all, just I am watching and sitting. I had to take my foot there itself. The cement is flowing here or there, the sand is there. I am sitting in between. I took my foot and uh, some tiffin or something and my water sticking to my hand. I just um, made it small dust and uh, dropped it off. Mm. Now, uh, I drank water afterwards, I might have washed my hand also. And after 10 minutes, I am seeing ants are moving about there. And so much of cement, sand, dust, so many things are there. The ant is coming, one by one, by one small particles that has fallen from my hand. They are picking, they are not seeing anything else. Cement is not seeing at all. Its eyes are closed for all that. It is just picking up its foot and going away. What a beautiful thing you see. It is picking up what it wants and leaving. It has no hatred. It doesn't have dislike. It is not renouncing anything. It is picking up. This is earthly and heavenly. It is not seeing. Now, I come to a state where I don't see anything bad at all, anything unwanted at all, anything wrong at all. I am seeing divine everywhere. And my vision is going only to holy and divine things. Other things, it is not grasping at all. Other things are there, it is not grasping. This is heavenly wisdom. In heavenly wisdom, you see, close your eyes, 
there is God. Open your eyes, there is God. Enter within, there is God. In various aspects you see God. God immanent, God transcendent. How much of enjoyment you see? It is like that. Hmm. Heavenly wisdom where you no more see the world anymore. Down in the ocean depths of heavenly wisdom, in the heavenly wisdom, with the heavenly wisdom, in heavenly wisdom you have entered into the depths, lie the wondrous pearls of peace, O oh mind, and you yourself can gather them. If you but have pure love and follow the scripture's rules. Scripture specify. How do I attain that heavenly wisdom? I follow the scriptures. In Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna asks, How will I know what I should do and what I should not do? I am get, getting confused. Even after telling so much, you are telling, he is in the middle of the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna. Arjuna is raising, I don't know what to do and what not to do. What is the, now you are telling something to do and whole life is there. You won't be there in my pocket all the time. Uh, what to do and what not to do, how to take the nirnaya, to take a decision. Krishna says, Tasma shastram pramanam te karya akarya vibhagayo. Hmm. Shastras, the scriptures say, we have Vedas, we have our scriptures. Shastras, all are there. Uh, Puranas uh, reveal the what I have to do and what I have to not to do. What will be the consequences of each action is clearly brought out in pictorial form in the Puranas. And Dharma Shastras, other than the Manusmritis, Smritis, all Smritis and Agamas give clear instruction what you have to do and what you should not do. Clearly, they are giving the instruction for us. Follow those rules and you will see, they are following the rules, you will find slowly that you are raised to that. Just to follow the instruction. And if you get anywhere confused, the Saints have walked through that path and left their footprints on the sand of time. So on the sand of time, there is the footprint. Tally, tally their life with the scriptures and set your path. Hmm. Then, but if you but have pure love, love that seeks nothing in return, it's a love is a sacrifice, the Agas Varupa. Mm. That is, I want to give my everything, nothing I see. Uh, there will be something always blocking the mind of a sadhaka. I see, he's not able to love because he is seeking something, he is wanting something, he wants to do something, he don't want to do, do something. Love is beyond all this. It tears the man apart. It's open. In our garden, there was a tree recently, a few days back, Chiku tree, that chiku tree full of fruits, it was uh, heavy, it was burdened with fruit as if it has put so much of fruit, uh, it wants to give more, like that it has, it has, it's to the brim. One of the, our Vanaprasthi inmates, he took the photo and sent to many of the inmates. Look at the 
way in which the tree has fruition it wants to give it wants to give next <laughs> another photo was has come because of the way the tree has split itself into two split itself into two it is opened up because of the weight this is what love man tears off his earthly existence totally he was holding on to the world his spiritual existence was just enclosed in this body mind complex he was holding and as a sadhaka also he has bound himself with do's and don'ts when love comes all oh, that tears off the soul the self becomes separate from the external bodily existence the you can uh, imagine the tree how the tree would have felt hmm, in its sacrifice to give let us split it is a living a life there is life the life now what happened to the soul it must have flown up and reached the heaven can you imagine the bodily existence went apart the soul is released released and the main thing is the fruits it was leaving was offered to god whenever the fruit comes it goes to god and other fruits are taken by the renunciates who are renounced world all enjoyments of the world and given their life to god and the world service of the world they are eating and the soul is released forever that is the service that is it is rendered so this uh, the wondrous pearls of peace but if you have pure love this is pure love love that makes them free release from all things pure love is love that really reveals from all limitations and offers itself hmm pure love and follow the scriptural rules om shanti 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 hari hi om tat sat shri ram krishna arpanam astu